I raised $6,000 for the purchase of land and $5,000 for initial construction sums. Thus, the enactment of House Bill 570 and the construction of the Texas Girls Training School is where the history of the Gainesville State School began. Thank you, Dr. Lively. The Gainesville community has embraced the state school and made it part of them. They've never seen it as an eyesore, something that they're ashamed of. Uh, I've worked with uh, religious retreats to come out, help mentor these young men, help them find out there is forgiveness and they can change their lives. And you and the staff, Superintendent, y'all are doing a fantastic job of, of leading that mission. The Texas State Training School for Girls opened on 160 acres east of Gainesville in 1916. Initially headed by Dr. Carrie Weaver Smith, the facility offered education, agriculture, and vocational skills to girls and young women. Agnes Stevens was superintendent from 1925 to 1941. Campus facilities were added and improved over the years, including the cottages, an academic building and gymnasium. In 1966, the school was racially integrated, and in 1974, it became co-educational and renamed Gainesville State School. In 1988, the school became an all-male juvenile correction facility, and after a more than a century in operation, the school continues to care for the youth, Texans in need. Oh, come on, dude. You take a picture for us? Uh -huh. No.